Que onda vatos, thanks again for tuning in to yet another video from Miss Coming At You Live from the West Coast yet again, San Jose, California. So let's go ahead and take a look at my Plex Audio. It's now been two years. It's been two years since I bought this thing. You know, I just bought the uh, the MTX Road Thunder, Kyriakin MTX Road Thunder uh, speaker bar. I just got that. And I've had the uh, the Boss, the China one, the Amazon eBay speaker set. Uh, for I've had that for about 60 years. So I've had the Plex Audio now for two years. I've had the uh, the Boss for six years. And I've had the uh, Kyriak and MTX soundbar for about, I'd say, three months. Three months. I just got it. Uh, I've been trying to lay down a lot of miles. I have a little bit over 1,400 on the Sportster. Like I said, I have three bikes, so it's kind of tough, uh, you know, laying down miles on one or the other. So, anyways, two years with the Plex Audio. How do I feel about it? I'm getting messages about it, of course. Some, some of you guys want an update on the Plex Audio. Now, I don't know if I got a bad set of speakers. It happens. Uh, I've been through now three set of speakers. And I, you know, I, I don't really use it that much. Which is, you know, just surprisingly, if I could go into my settings and find, uh, you know, because I have it on my, on my Samsung, maybe I could find like a connectivity maybe how many hours I've been connected I don't know I'm wondering if I could find that so I could give you guys a, pin, a pinpoint of how many hours I've been using the Plex audio now as far as audio quality sound uh, power doing 80 miles per hour on the on the freeway highway of course you can hear their speakers all right if you have a taller windshield you're gonna be able to even you know hear them even better or the audio or the sound it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be a little bit more improved, of course. Uh, as far as, you know, having, you know, more wind protection, because that's what, you know, gives you, uh, you know, that ability to hear your your tunes, your sound. Uh, if I had the other windshield on my Sportster, I, you know, I'm not too sure. All right. So on the Road Warrior, it works perfectly. I have an 18-inch windshield on my Metric. And I could hear my my boss speakers just fine, and those are you know 80 bucks. But does it sound as good as the Plex Audio? Absolutely not. I think the boss speakers they went out quickly. I think I blew those things out because uh, yeah, they just don't handle uh, the speakers just can't handle that amp. I think I think that's what that is. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But uh, as far as you know, power, sound. I mean, it's really crisp. The Plex Audio speakers sound amazing. Uh, they sound a lot better than my MTX Road Thunder, and the MTX Road Thunder is about what 400, so it's about half the price, a little bit, a little bit less than half the price. Uh, it sounds way better than my Boss speakers, obviously, because like I said, those speakers sound distorted. Uh, maybe about 50% of you know volume, volume, uh, volume, volume. It's volume. So about 50% of volume on the Boss. The the audio gets really dis uh, uh, distorted. Sorry, it gets really bad. It just you know it just doesn't sound good. On these ones, you can have them at 100% power volume. <laughs> you can have it at 100% and they sound amazing all right they sound super crisp super clear that's you know what i like about these you have a two-in-one speaker with this system they're five and a quarter speakers so uh you know as far as being able to you know fix it yourself swap stuff out kind of like what i've been doing of course because like i said i've been through three set of speakers uh you could do this at home you don't have to send the unit to uh florida because that's where they're located now they relocated uh i think uh in 2020 or 2021 i believe so they used to be out here in hayward here in california maybe about 30 minutes up north from san jose from where i'm from where i'm i'm, I'm at so anyways two years later like I said, you know, stuff just, you know, stuff, the stuff can come defective. Some of you guys have mentioned the, uh, the buttons on the Leather Pro. Somehow, you know, I guess I got a good one, but uh, after I made my video, some of you guys were having trouble with the, uh, with the lids, with the leather lids on the, on the Leather Pros. It turns out Leather Pros had a defective supplier of their, of their buttons. 
So that was something that I saw uh, shortly after I started seeing the complaints. So, you know, it's just one of those things that can happen. Maybe this, they, maybe uh, Rockford Fosgate switched supplier. Maybe they were looking for cheaper alternatives and they, you know, it happens everywhere. I, like I said, I've been in the auto industry for a while and I see some defective items. I've seen when Tesla tried to switch from Panasonic to a Chinese uh, battery and then that turned out to be absolutely crap and now they've made their own batteries at the Gigafactory for that reason, to cut down on costs. And China's just not, you know, China's not the answer for anything, for a lot of the stuff. So anyways, you know, I still like the Plex Audio, all right? I motor vlog a lot. I have a bunch of footage that I haven't even, um, you know, published or anything like that. I haven't, uh, you know, published a lot of footage. I'm always motor vlogging, so I don't use the speakers that much. And it's just surprising that uh, that, I, that I've been that I've already been through three set of speakers. It just sucks. Uh, the first time, like I said, I tried contacting Plex Audio because I was still within warranty, and I mean, there's just no answer on on their behalf. I believe they've improved. The customer service because I've noticed I recently visited the website I noticed that uh, they have a link they have a PDF they have forms now so I think they're a little bit more on it since you know since my video I don't know all right you guys like I said uh, some of you know some of you other guys were also mentioning that you guys were also trying to contact Plex Audio and you guys were having a tough time and it just sucks all right because I mean this is a premium quality um, you know product and I just, you know, I mean, they're part of the community. Everybody that has a, a lowrider or everybody that has a Harley, they know Plex Audio. You know, a lot of people rock this, this, uh, this, this uh, speaker, this uh, speaker unit. It's all in one, easy install. You don't have to relocate the amp. You don't have to wire the amp. Because, like I said, I have, I've, I've used almost every option out there. Uh, the installation, it's all in one unit. Simple, easy. You don't have to connect an accessory wire or anything like that, kind of like what you do with the MTX, uh, you know, Road Thunder. And you also don't have to, uh, you know, find a location for your amp and then wire uh, your, you know, everything else from the amp to the speakers to the speakers to the <laughs> to the remote control to the control, you know, back to the amp. So as far as installation, it's pretty simple. Um, like I said, you don't have to worry about finding, you know, a location, finding a dry location on the bike, uh, you know, depending on the amp, maybe it's not water resistant or waterproof, and then you have other, you know, problems. So in this unit, 100%, uh, you know, it's protected. So you could, you know, you could ride it. I'm not suggesting, you know, for anybody to dump their speakers in, in, in the lake or anything like that, but I believe you should be fine uh, riding, you know, in light rain conditions. So I do have the regular uh, speakers on this, the 152, I believe. The price did go up on this because I know, because like I said, I've been through three set of speakers. Uh, they recently went up. Something's overheating. I think uh, I think this overheated. Man, this is the Hero 11. So this is the Hero 9. Uh, let's see how long this this holds up. So. Anyways, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, uh, a lot of the people in those videos they have mentioned, hey, I have the marine grade speakers and they're, you know, they're working just fine. So maybe it's, you know, maybe it's in your best interest to go ahead and opt in or opt out or opt in for the uh, for the marine grade speakers, because like I said, I've been through three. That's you know 130 a piece, and this last time was 160, 170. So if I would have just bought the marine grade speakers. That would have, I mean, that would have paid for itself. So who knows? Like I said, uh, maybe you guys can learn from my mistake. Upgrade to the marine grade. Maybe that won't, you know, pop on you. And then on top of that, those are, of course, marine grade. So you don't have to worry about, you know, heavy uh, raining conditions and stuff like that. So that's just, you know, my two cents, I guess, for uh, the two-year review on the Plex Audio. Do I recommend it? Man, yeah, I, I think I do. Uh, if you're really looking for, you know, motorcycle speakers, I think this is, you know, the best option. I know they're expensive, but man, they sound so good. It sounds, you know, it looks good. It, it sounds good. And it just fits the overall bike. I mean, if it's just, man, you know, you can't really, you know, 
cheap out on this stuff yes you can buy the other stuff and yes it's loud but it's not going to sound as good so it's up to you you know you, you you gotta you gotta you know pay to play i guess you gotta pay to play and this is you know one of the good options there's other options out there of course if you don't want you know if you don't want to pay that price tag you could buy the amp they used to offer it on their website they used to offer a diy kit on rockford on plex audio they don't i don't think they do that anymore because i went back there to check it out they, they stopped doing that so that yeah, it's, it's a bummer you were able to buy uh you know the parts especially the housing unit because i think that's what you need most and the bracket and I believe that was like a, like around 200 bucks for both of those items, and that was pretty cheap. So you you were able to buy your own amp, your own speakers, and then do your own thing. So uh, they don't offer that anymore. So it is what it is. I like it. All right, I like it. Even though I've been through three sets of speakers, I, you know, it's just the sound quality. Being able to fix it yourself, swap out the speakers. Oh, and that's right. Got to get back to that. Uh, like I said, I visited their website. They're also offering with the proof of purchase from what I understand a discount on the speakers even after your one year warranty so check them out you know go on their Instagram they have a lot of good stuff um, there's a lot of customization so I will be moving this stuff to my sportser because I'm getting new fairing for the uh, for my lowrider so you guys want to you know stay tuned for you know those those videos because I am going to customize this Plex audio unit I'm going to sand it down and I'm going to change it up you guys going to be able to see what it's going to look like uh, you know soon maybe next month maybe next year maybe 2023 I'll, I'll, I'll start doing stuff with it but enough rambling you guys stay out there stay safe don't believe everything you read life's a risk get out there and ride later